Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today looking at five ways to open the Group Policy Editor. Why? Why not? So Group Policy Editor lets you do all sorts of configuring and editing in your computer that you'll never find in your control panel or settings, for example. So here's a guide here following a couple of easy steps as well at the bottom of this page, which I will link to in the video description so the Windows 10 Home users can actually enable this, which is really cool. So let's start out with the most obvious, Start, Run, or Windows Key Plus R, and type in gpedit.msc. Once you do that, Group Policy Editor comes up. And just really, really quick as a sidebar for those of you who aren't familiar with it, you usually end up, when you're tweaking your computer, mostly, not always, but mostly, in the administrative templates. You can see here's your control panel, your network. Here's all the stuff you can get at. Printers, server, system. A lot of times in Windows components, there's a lot of stuff in here to play around with. So there's your camera. So what you do is say, allow use of camera. You can double click that. And right here on the right, it'll always explain to you. This policy setting allows the use of camera devices on the machine. If you enable or do not configure, not configured is the most common default for everything in Group Policy Editor, the camera will be disabled, enabled. So if you disable it, see it gets a little confusing, right? Camera will be disabled. Some of them are backwards. So there's, there you go. So if you click disabled, camera is off. You click apply, click OK, and you're out. So just a quick look at how it works. No big deal. And now back to what we were talking about. Windows Search, whether you use Cortana or press your Windows key plus S, you start typing in Group Policy Editor, and you click on Edit Group Policy. There it is. This is handy if one of these, for example, your Start Run isn't working. Just so you know, there's other ways you can do it, and some neat stuff as well. Similar to that step, almost identical, you can go to your Start Settings, for example, and just start typing in Group, and you will see Edit Group Policy, just like we saw a second ago and there it is so they're almost identical those two now the shortcuts kind of neat at least i think it is so what you need to do is open your file explorer and find gpedit.msc in windows system 32 scroll 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 there we go and let's try this way D so once you find gpedit.msc you can right click on it as you watch me scroll like a madman trying to get to it, making it look uh, nice and smooth. Well, that failed. GP edit, where'd you go? Oh my God, you guys are probably laughing at me right now. There it is, holy cow. Look for that little yellowish ribbon to help you spot it. Right click on it, and you can pin it to your start menu. You could pin it to your taskbar, or you could create a shortcut, and it'll put it on your desktop. Let's make sure that worked. There it is right there. Pretty neat. So then you could have it on your start. You could have it on your taskbar. And that's, you know, more for power users, people who find themselves using it frequently. And last and certainly not least, PowerShell and Command Prompt Geeks. You want to either win S, search, and CMD. Right click or click here where it says run as administrator. One of the two. There you go. Uh, I'm using Windows 10, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Windows key plus X, and I'm going to run Windows PowerShell as admin. And as you could probably guess, you've heard it four times so far, all we got to do is type in GP edit, press enter, wait a second or two, and there it is. So there you go. There's five different ways to get it open if you're having trouble with it. A brief, brief explanation for Windows 10 Home users who might not be familiar with it. And as has been mentioned, there is the enable group policy story so that you can come over here, download the needed file and run a bat file. It's relatively simple, just follow the steps. And there you go. Click like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching. See you next time.